Keisha Martin here, licensed professional counselor with Venus Things. Uh, if you are a returning viewer and a subscriber, thanks so much for the support. Reach out to us. We want to hear from you. Comment in the comment section uh, on any of the videos that you watch. If you have questions, or maybe you went to therapy last week and you were like, well, my therapist says this. What do you think? Or I'm going through this situation. Help me out. What We really would love to hear from you guys. If you're new, check out our channel trailer and get to know a little bit more about us. Join our community. We would love to hear from you. Uh, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Uh, as you know, if you're a returning viewer, I have started a video series on toxic relationships. There was a part one and a part two. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about self-care. And uh, I'll be talking to those of you who maybe have discovered that you are indeed in a toxic situation and you are wanting out. You're done. You're done. You're like, I ain't got time for this. So, I'm talking to you. What do you do? Well, Self-care is a big part of it. If you've discovered you're in a toxic situation, you're ready to move forward, the first thing you need to do is to own your part in whatever it was that contributed to the toxic situation. If you've become aware that you are in a toxic situation, now it's the opportunity for you to stop, take pause, reflect, own your part in it, and forgive yourself. Forgiveness is the first part and self-care. If you can't forgive yourself, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to forgive others. And if you continue in the blame game, you're not going to move forward. So, number one, forgive yourself. Number two, stop playing the blame game. Okay, as long as you're trying to blame and you're looking who to point fingers at, you're going to stay stuck. So at this point, it's toxic. doesn't matter who's to blame. You've decided it's toxic, it's time to move forward, okay? It's time to work on yourself, it's time to take care of yourself, and it's time to set some healthy boundaries. That's the other part of self-care, healthy boundaries. So number one, forgive yourself. Number two, stop playing the blame game. And number three, healthy boundaries. And healthy boundaries have to start with you, meaning, if you, re if you recognize that these are unhealthy patterns in your life with this person, or maybe more than one person, then it's time for you to say, okay, that's enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna engage in these kind of behaviors. I'm gonna be aware of how I respond, and if I don't like it, I can change it. So think about what you need to do to set healthy boundaries for yourself, okay? Do you need to go no contact with this person? Uh, does this person just push your buttons? You allow them to push your buttons to the point where you're just like ugh, exasperated, and you and then you get caught in this engagement and this this roller coaster ride that you get on. You know you don't have to play. All right. So uh, that's the other thing to think about. If you're feeling like you're the one that's giving in the relationship and it's not a reciprocal thing, then take a step back. You know, toxic people. I don't like to say toxic people. I like to say unconscious people because half the time these people really do have some really great qualities about them, but they're just unconscious to their baggage and they bring it with them into friendships, into relationships, into the workplace, and it poisons people around them. You don't have to let that poison take over. Uh, no is a beautiful word. It just like rolls right off the tongue once you get used to it, okay? I know it's hard at first, but you can say no. Uh, and you, and if you start, if you, if you struggle with saying no, start by saying, no, that's, I can't do this, but this is what I can do, okay? You can choose not to engage as little as possible or not at all. To just go no contact, sometimes that's the best thing you can do for yourself. Um, you know, and if you feel guilty for your behaviors and you want to apologize and you feel like you need to take a minute and think about, are you doing that because it's going to help you or are you doing that because you still want that person's approval and respect and um, you want them to value who you are as a person? You have to understand that if you're going to engage, you're putting yourself in a vulnerable place to get sucked back into a toxic dance. Uh, it's not always the case. Maybe that person has done some growth 
maybe that person is ready to ready to talk about it and own their part in it and apologize also but if the patterns in your life have shown that that's not the case with this person then i would encourage you to really give that some serious thought before approaching it do you really feel like this is going to help you progress is this going to help you in your growth process is this going to help you um, recover or is it going to set you back is it going to be re-traumatizing to try to engage with this person? If the answer is yes, then I would encourage you to think of another way, another avenue that you can explore to release some of that energy. But that energy, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. If, it, if you let it sit there, it can be a negative thing. Uh, but you can take that energy and you can make something beautiful from it. In addition to forgiving yourself, practicing self-compassion, uh, stopping with the blame game, and setting healthy boundaries, uh, what else can you do? Uh, I would encourage you to get involved. Uh, use that energy that you're spending uh, going around and around and around on this merry-go-round with this person uh, into, into something more productive. So take those classes you've always wanted to take. Uh, get involved with the community if you can. Maybe volunteer. That could be something you could do. But invest that time in yourself that you would spend trying to focus on this situation and this person. Uh, because when all is said and done, you are your own best friend. You can be as close to people as you can and you know you can find great people that will lift you up and empower you but you have to love yourself because wherever you are, Wherever you go, you'll be there. So it's better to just like yourself and love yourself. So stop putting yourself on the back burner if that's what you're finding that you've been doing because of the situation. You know, what is it that you would like to do? Ask yourself those things. If you're not sure, then take some time to do some self-exploration. How do you do that? Well, therapy can help. Um, talking to other people can help. That's huge. Brings me to my next point. If you're in an unfortunate situation where you are isolated from your family and friends and you have limited options on how you can get involved, then I'd encourage you to get involved online. Uh, there are communities, a plethora of communities out there uh, that are devoted to this particular topic. Uh, people that have experienced toxic relationships, uh, narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, uh, all of those things. Uh, so I'd encourage you to do some homework. Twitter is a great example. All you got to do is do a hashtag toxic relationship and see what pops up. Or uh, hashtag narc abuse, see what pops up. Uh, there's some great platforms out there for you to engage with individuals that have been in your situation. Uh, so I would really encourage you to reach out, connect. Uh, it's so imperative that you connect uh, because when you don't connect with others, you're vulnerable to get trapped back into this toxic situation. So uh, check check out Twitter. Uh, I I recommend following uh, Narc underscore Problems. Um, they share a lot of great quotes, things that might help you through a tough time. Uh, also, Facebook has some great groups as well uh, that are devoted to empowering uh, quotes, uh, engaging out people out there that have gone through these things. So get involved. Uh, talk about it, listen, be heard, uh, get that validation that you need from your experience. Oftentimes you feel so alone and you're like just feeling really lost because you're, you, you don't know what's going on. It's really hard to tell what's going on when you're involved in a toxic situation. Uh, so when you talk to people, it helps you get some objectivity. Uh, another thing is, is that when you're in the toxic situation, it's really hard to see when you're in it. So get yourself some distance so that you can get some perspective. Maybe you're absorbing too much what that person is telling you about yourself. So you don't have to be defined by this person or this relationship or your behavior in that relationship. And, and please, let me, let me reiterate, I'm not just talking about romantic partnerships, I'm talking about friendships as well, family members as well. 
uh, you do not have to be defined by that person and that person's perception of you unless you give them that power. So take your power back. Okay? <laughs> I hope this is helpful. I look forward to sharing with you some more insights that will help empower you to make the changes that you want to make for yourself. Uh, again, all of our topics here are going to be related to mental health, wellness, uh, you know, obviously relationship stuff. Anything that could possibly impact uh, your mental health and well-being, it was open for discussion. So please don't he hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. We want to hear from you. Until um, next time, be well, be strong, be love. I want you to imagine for a second Imagine this, you're free from a toxic place, toxic situation, toxic interactions. Think about what that looks like. Imagine it, picture it. Now let that be your motivation for breaking free of this situation. I would like to leave you with some inspiring words from the wise one, Taylor Swift. Play is gonna play, 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 play. And hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shake it off, shake it off. No, seriously. Take it from her. Do what you gotta do, break free. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and on LinkedIn and Google Plus, I think. I can't keep up with all this social media. This is, this is tough stuff. 